Okay, today we are addressing the frequently asked questions around the terms natural, organic and certified organic. So the term natural, uh, if you look it up in the dictionary, it states existing in or formed by nature, not artificial. So an avocado or a coconut or anything that you find in nature is natural. Now, if you look at the cosmetic industry definition of natural, they claim that sodium lauryl sulfosuccinate from coconut oil is a natural substance because it can be derived from a natural substance, even if the manufacturing process requires toxic, synthetic, dangerous ingredients in the manufacturing process. So uh, that is definitely not my definition of natural. So that is the difference between what we understand as natural and the cosmetic industry definition of natural. Now we'll look at organic. Organic actually refers to a sustainable system of agriculture that utilises natural methods and substances to create a healthy, nutrient-rich, fertile soil with which to grow plants. Okay, so organic refers to the system of agriculture that, that, you, that is used to create the healthy plants. Um, Certified organic is an independent third party guarantee of an organic claim and it often refers to a finished product. It's either the fruit or the food, the food substance or uh, a packaged product, a packaged product like our cleansers or moisturisers. So in, in the instance of a certified organic food, basically it's an independent third party certification that that food was grown using organic practices and methods. Um, in terms of an organic finished product, it, it means that at least 95% of that product is comprised of certified organic ingredients, excluding water and salt. And of course, another question that we get is that, so that with that 95%, doesn't that mean that you can use 5% toxic synthetic chemicals? Of course not. Um, there's also very stringent requirements um, in certified organic practices that prohibit the use of synthetic chemicals. So in a certified organic product, there can be no genetically modified organisms, no synthetic ingredients whatsoever, um, no ingredients that are extracted using synthetic solvents like petrochemical solvents. Uh, basically, this 5% is a, a, a minimal allowance for non-organic natural ingredients. So basically you've got natural, which is truly natural, not pretend natural, which is which are the all of the ingredients that basically the cosmetic in industry uses that claim that they claim to be natural. Then you have organic, which refers to the system of agriculture, and then certified organic is basically the independent third party claim, it's a guarantee of organic integrity. So they are putting their seal of approval on a finished product or a food to guarantee that that product meets their high criteria for certified so organic. So why is it important that one group offer certified organic products? Firstly, we want to stand as a beacon of integrity against the plethora of fake organic products on the market. Secondly, uh, we wish to support farmers and companies in the ethical and sustainable use of the Earth's resources. Um, that's the only way that we can create a, a future that's sustainable for ourselves and our children. And thirdly, we believe certified organic products are effective, are safer and beautiful to use. Thank you.